Okay, I'm from Cornwall, I'm a bit of quite a lad. This is the busiest beach I've ever seen in my life. I mean, Weymouth is from, from the top to the end, it's just full of people. The whole grandstand is full of people. There's 66 paddlers on the water. The day is sunny, it's fantastic. Paddleboarding to the masses, Nash, One Design Series 2015. But all on the same board, same kit, different paddle. Oh, got little Groms in the green bibs, got the guys in the orange bibs and the ladies in the blue bibs. So you're gonna easily see who's racing. Um, throughout the day, there's gonna be a number of races, all leading up to one major race near the end. So as the afternoon's increased, we've got sea breezes picked up. Um, uh, it's basically blowing bang offshore here in the bay. Live in lovely flat conditions, but as soon as you're 10, 15 feet off the beach, you really feel the wind. Um, the junior racing's just gone under. We've just got to have the, some of the men's sprint racing, and then the ladies, and then we're going to have a long distance race afterwards. Alex from Nash up there, the megaphone by the Nash flag, getting the start of the sprint racing, uh, the wild card race. So basically this is the, um, the the back end of the fleet, let's say, that I've got another chance to get through to the final. So it's the first four that get through this will go straight into the final of the sprints. And it's gonna be carnage. <laughs> Blurry, the spectator, you see it's so good of you watching up there on the, on the dock side there. Such a good angle to see. Some people turning around, the first left marker to us is already going upwind. So a sprint distance is so good for getting you into the racing without having to think, oh, I'm going to have to paddle four or five miles here. I can just get out, quick sprint race, get the feel for it. The final, just about to get underway with the sprint racing for the guys. Um, and it's the biggest spectators we've seen. I mean, there's got to be over 100, 200 people watching this right here. Okay, they're not paddleboarders, but they're actually finding out what actually stand-up paddling is. This might be the first glimpse of what they actually think this sport is. They might just think these people are just walking on water. But this is where they're going to get a taste of it, where they're going to see it first. Um, so this event, uh, we've just been amazed how it's done that so much and put it in front of the public so well. And they're off. Oh, somebody hit the boy. So we got some, the obviously standouts we got Lash's winner, Ben Fisher, then it was the, the championship last year, he's been pushing hard. And we've got a few other guys coming up. There's a lot of guys, to be honest, I don't know the names, they just come out of nowhere. Which is, it's tough racing, but there's quite a lot of polite racing going on. There's a lot of people saying sorry and getting by, it's nice to hear it. So two, two choices down here, then you've got left boy or right boy. Ben Fisher's taking the right route. There's the guys on the left, uh, to be honest, are going to be pushing on him big time. So ladies, um, ladies sprint race final, going to get underway. We've got um, a few well-established suppers like Joe Hamilton Vale and we've got a few um, new sup races I haven't seen before. Uh, Sophie McGellan who's an Olympic 470 sailor. So they've got the same course as the guys. Nice little downwind sprint to a left and right boy. They can either choose a left or right boy, whichever they suit. Most of the races have gone for the right hand side boy today. This is a tight race, isn't it? There's not much space down there for the last three. 
by my soul You share with me your magic Don't wanna be a fool Or in your side Do the woman Always be the one To make you cry I say it's so good for spectating here You've got a whole minute it's like a minute and a half of racing right in front of you. Um, such a good angle of looking down the race. So good for people to watch it from the beach, from the crowds. Lots of clapping from the crowds. They even, you know, don't even know what paddle one is. They're just clapping away, loving it. And to be honest, that's probably one of the closest altogether finishes out of everybody, as in the whole pack are within the first 15 seconds of the finish line. So that's really good to see. It's such a close race with all of the girls together. So we've just done the sprint racing and we're about to start the long distance race and we're having a chat here with our columnist Bryce Dyer um, see how he got on and how he's doing because this is the first year you've done the, um, the yeah. natural one design racing isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's the first time I'll have a crack at it. It's, it's been really, really good. It's been uh, yeah, all sorts of different kind of paddlers having a go, first timers, experienced guys, guys like me having this kind of format before. So yeah, it's good and every race has a, a bit of a different talent, a different feel to it. Yeah, so, cool. so what made you, did you see this race last year? Did you see about it? I was going to do it last year but I was wearing a bike race and I couldn't get back in time for it so I want, you know, got it in the diary for this year and uh, yeah, it's been really, really good, really good yeah. vibe down here. You know, 60, 70 paddlers in one class. So. Yeah. Joe, Joe Hamilton Vell's pulled out a bit of a stonking lead to be honest in the long distance race. Um, look at the men's train over there. Okay, fair. So Ben's coming around the close mark. You don't want to look too close to that boy. Yeah. Obviously because the offshore wind, the, uh, the ropes there dangling out and the, um, pushing the boy out. Yeah, that's a great shot of the men's train there coming in. Pete Vale's doing a lot of racing on the um, the Nash One Series this year. Um, he thinks he's really enjoying it. That aspect of having all of on one board. A difference to normal long distance race. It's a long distance race, but all under quite a close, compact course, which is really great again for spectating. Um, so most of the sprint racing has been really short. So this is um, obviously it's not a massive long distance race. Uh, but now you can see that Ben's really trying to stamp himself on this longer distance race and he's pulled himself a bit of a gap um, in front of uh, George and Pete Vale there in third. So he's, he's looking pretty comfortable at the moment and Joe is pulled out an even bigger gap for the girls. So this is George coming around the mark now. George Cromwell Brown from Exmouth. Um, he's got a really nice stroke actually, this lad, I think he's just gonna, he's obviously, this is the first time we've seen him at an event, he's probably done other stuff, but um, he's paddling well and um, looks like I think we've been seeing a bit, more, a bit more of him in the years to come. So Ben Fisher coming in to the beach, gonna take the first place in the long distance race. Joe's paddled a really good race, she's coming, that's, that's a really good pull ahead, she's done in the long distance race, she really deserves that. Yeah, so George there, kept the second. Good race for him as well. He paddled well, and then I think we've got Pete Vale and race for third. Yeah, Pete Vale's coming. So that makes Ben our junior national champion of Nisco racing. And again, we'd very much like you, Joe, if you're free that weekend to join us in Amsterdam as well. So here we are with Alex Tober, end of a cracking day at Weymouth, 66 people in total? Yeah, 66. 66. Yeah. And a massive increase from last year, what was your Yeah, we were uh, 43 people last year. 43. So, I mean, from what we saw, really slickly run event, 
every single smiles on their faces, clapping around and stuff. What would you like to hope for next year and taking it forward? We're over 100. Over 100? Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, easily achievable, isn't it? Oh, I think so. I mean, the way stuff's growing in the UK, and I think everyone had a good time today. It would just be nice if everyone was here, drag someone else along with them. Yeah. I mean, the main thing for us about increasing the numbers is actually convincing people that, you know what, it's not going to be threatening. You can go and race even if you've not done a lot of racing before. Yeah, and, and you had some people definitely that were the what, first time supper, second time? Well, some of the juniors actually came out supping with me for the first time on Thursday for 20 minutes. <laughs> and they'd never been on a board before and they raced today, yeah. which is great. And then they had some pretty offshore wins and they did well, you know. Stuff. Yeah, yes, you know, I, think, stuff, yeah. I remember seeing one little grom, he was out there and he couldn't turn the board around. He actually jumped off the board, turned around in the water, then got back on and go, was that probably one of your first time? He was so small, yeah. he couldn't turn around. I was like, man, that's dedication. You know, that's one of the things we said to him. We said, you know, you just got to point into that wind and do what you need yeah, to do yeah. to get into it. Yeah. No, it's a fantastic run event. And as I said, it, from our point of view, watching you and the way you've done it, it's really good. So we've been really happy to be behind this event this year and um, looking forward to seeing it grow to next year and seeing it well over the 100. So congratulations Brilliant. and well done to the team. Great. Thank you for coming. Cool.